guys welcome back to my channel um, if you're new here my name is Shamika Shante um, and also if you're new here make sure that you please like comment subscribe and share so you guys I just wanted to um, have a sit down before the vlog and just kind of um, instead of putting all of that information in the vlog I really just wanted to have like a conversation with my subscribers and uh, really talk about uh, briefly why I left YouTube um, if you didn't know I did take like a year hiatus off of YouTube and so um, basically you know with me working so I worked a regular nine-to-five um, and working a regular nine-to-five um, at the time of doing YouTube was kind of stressful it really was um, my job was pretty demanding. Um, I would work hours. And so by the time I get off work, you know, I just honestly didn't feel like doing YouTube. Um, other things that basically happened, um, at the time, um, also, if you guys didn't know, I was in the middle of a divorce. Um, so, you know, going through that, it can be really, um, it can be really, you know, heartening, heartbreaking. And, um, you know, when you're going through something like that, you, you're really not focused on anything else. Um, because like they say, a divorce is like a death. So, um, that's basically kind of how it was. And also just dealing with family dynamics. So it was a lot going on in my life at the time. And, um, I'm, like I said, I'm human. So a lot of times, you know, um, for me, I'm a, I'm a pretty private person, so I don't really display my life on, um, you know, social media, like my personal things that I'm going through. And then if they involve somebody else, I don't feel like it's fair to put someone else's personal issues, you know, on the internet. day in the vlog um so i haven't really been able to pick up the camera as much as i would like because as you know um from the title of this video i did a state move um so with all of that being said that's a lot to do it's it's a lot um and i i'll go into detail with you guys later um, so right now we're currently at Best Buy. Well, my daughter, she's having an issue with her computer. Um, so with her uh, MacBook, so she needs it to be reset something with her password. So I'm not really feeling too well. So that's the reason why I didn't go in. Um, y'all, I hope y'all had a wonderful, eventful Labor Day. I hope y'all did. Um, I spent much needed time with family, so that was really, really good. My mom, um, because she was helping me, you know, with the transition of moving and stuff like that. Um, we did a lot of, lot of stuff over the weekend, like a lot of moving things here, moving things there. Um, god i spent so much money i can't even tell y'all like um but a lot of moving stuff around a lot of shopping things like that so
think your dumplings came out really good? They look crispy. I think Let they me look, see. Look. They look, I think they're going to be fried. I'm not going to. Let me see. These are all her fixing. Well, besides the um, caramel, salted caramel syrup, that's for my coffee. But these are all her fixings. Yeah, yeah. We got the soy sauce, crushed red peppers, mm -hmm. chicken breast, sriracha, and then the sweet chili sauce. Let me see that. Some panda express. Pan on that. Okay. And where did you purchase those? Publix. Publix. Okay. Very classy. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, what's first? I don't know. I think I'm going to put the soy sauce in here. I don't think I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going to put the soy sauce in here. <laughs> you drench it like that? I need mine to be drenched. Okay, girl. Okay, okay, y'all. That might not be enough, but. Okay, y'all, then we're going to put, um, sweet chili. I think I'm going to be open. That's why I was wondering why you drink it, but... Ooh. Maybe it'll even out with the salt, sweet, and... Mm. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, oh, God. I have no measurements, so please don't ask. Y'all heard her. Yeah, um, then don't... I, I never really tasted Tabasco. You put the chili? Oh, I'm going to put it in there. Okay. Good I think chili I'm going to put peppers. this in there first. You might have to, yeah. The funny thing is, I hate when people open stuff slow in their video. Oh my God, just got this in my mouth. It's hot, ain't it? I'm scared. Now, you just said that you just get hot off of one of them made you hot. You just literally dumped a whole bunch on there. I, it's only a little bit. I okay, y'all. Y'all see this, right? I'm, I'm, hey, okay, hold on. Wow, now that might be just overkill, ma'am. Okay, okay, that's it. But you gotta, that's how they be doing it in the videos, though. Okay. okay. I like when it looks like all soggy. Mm. So you like the soggy look? Because most people would be like, because of the texture. I, I don't like the dry look. I just feel like, add some more, girl. You can put a little bit more. <laughs> all right, I see somebody put, they added a little bit. It was making me a little mad. I just had to try for myself. Y'all know she gonna sauce it up, child. Ooh, it's gonna be spicy hot with the Tabasco sauce oh, and the chili Lord. pepper shell. I don't even know. Yeah, you might, what, what happened to your water? I think I put it up still. I'm gonna think... need a spray. Yeah. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. I'm excited. I can't even fit this one I don't know. Maybe it's the soy sauce. Hold on. Mm. It's busting. Maybe I like the crunchy. Oh, okay. Is it not too hot? Oh, it's hot. Oh, like spicy? Mm hmm. Y'all should definitely air fry them. I think it take away like the, the squishiness. Mm -hmm. We're going to give them one more try. I'll never scare y'all alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not even biting into it. I'm ready to 
Yeah, what's your rate? Um, a six, seven out of ten. Six, seven out of ten. Okay, and this is your first time making it. Yep, y'all gotta make sure y'all fry them. I think it'd be better. So, would you steam them? In your opinion, would you try it steamed though? No. No, because it looks raw. Black people don't eat raw food. Oh, okay. All right, y'all. Y'all heard it here. So we gonna wrap it up. say grand rising but I hear that so much so oh man y'all I ain't even um brush my teeth wash my face hey y'all so I'm in the bathroom like I said um uh, going to wash my face I've already got out the shower so but I still like to separately do my um, skin care. Um, I separately like to, you know, clean my face. <laughs> but, um, so I'm gonna clean my face or whatever, and I'm also going to brush my teeth. Um, so I don't know if you guys are familiar with this. I like getting the mini packs, because number one, they're cheaper. Um, this is, uh, Tatcha, um, this is the, I don't know if y'all can see that, see that. So this is a Japanese brand. Um, they're pretty expensive, but with this um, little set that they have, which I always go to Sephora and get this. Um, so it is amazing that they came out with this because the big bottle, or I guess the other size bottle, which is only the big bottle of their original skincare, it's, um, it's pretty expensive. It's like pretty expensive. Like it starts like 45, 50 in the moisturizer. I mean, I'm not for, for sure exactly the price. So you would have to go on Sephora to see exactly what it is. I know for sure their toner, me and my mom was looking at their toner. It's like $65. So, I mean, be my guest. Um, if you've already tried it out and you like it, you know it, you know, that's fine, you know, whatever, spend money on the big bottle um, because it is a good brand. They did go viral, um, but it's, I, I have issues with my skin. I break out in hives and rosacea and stuff like that. So I'm very particular about what I use on my skin. So if I apply um, a topical, you know, ointment or just anything topical on my face um, and it starts burning immediately within the first few seconds, I know off top it's not for my skin. My skin gets irritated. And yeah, sometimes your skin has to um, get used to using a product. But for me, I just rather not walk out looking like a monster with all kind of blotches on my skin. So I know when I first used this, <coughs> it didn't bother me at all. So I kept using it and kept using it and it was really, really good. Um, it eventually made my skin kind of look like glass, um, but I did fall off a little bit. So I'm back using it again. Um, I usually compare this with the oil and all that stuff. Um, if you uh, watch my channel previously, I also had a skincare line. So I would use my serums and my oils and compare it with this as well. 
uh, which I plan on doing that um, eventually, um, pretty soon. Uh, but anyway, just to get back to what I was saying. So if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a skincare, um, you know, brand, but you have experienced some things that I've experienced, like I said, uh, rosacea, uh, blotches, you know, stuff like that. I'm like, I used to have like real, real dry skin, but I think my skin is kind of changing. So I'm like in between. Um, so, um, you know, it's dry and oily at times. Um, but anyway, this is a good product. Very good. I definitely stand by this. Um, this is not sponsored, but um, they're only $27. So if you stop in Sephora um, and you're looking for something new, pick this up. They have different... Um, they have different ones. So they have like, um, I know they have like the blue bottle. Um, that's, I wanna say that one has exfoliant beads in it as well. Uh, this one is the rice water wash um, and it comes with the dewy moisturizer. The blue one comes with the exfoliating wash, which has the blue exfoliating beads and the moisturizer. And then they also have like a white one and um, um, they have like a night, nighttime one which is like um midnight blue or violet blue or something like that but when you go you will see it um so yeah for sure um so y'all right now this is the only skincare i'm using so i'm hoping this just does me well i it never failed me before but usually i use more products like i said more moisturizers and oils yeah, so with this, you don't have to apply that much. Honestly, I would just say apply maybe like a pinch, you know, because it's really thick. I don't know if you guys can see the thick texture, you know what I'm saying? So it's like extremely thick. You don't have to apply that much. And usually what I do is I pretty much just run it under water because like I said, the applicator is so thick just so it can, you know, um, foam up and everything. And I just kind of just not too long ago got out there so yeah um but grand rising grand rising everyone um yeah y'all um i wanted i don't know if i shared this with you guys but um i want to detox i want to detox um lose a few pounds and everything because to be honest i've been eating out a lot with the move and everything. Um, I feel like my face has gotten fat, my stomach has gotten a little wide, so, you know, stuff like that. But um, I know y'all have been seeing these everywhere, which are the um, the detox shots, like the ginger shots. They got ginger, turmeric. Um, they have so many. They have like a lot of them. You can actually get this at your local grocery store or um i know herbalist that sells these let me yeah so you can get this like at your um local Publix or wherever you grocery shop or whatever um check it out see if they have it um 
And so this is actually the first time that I'm trying this. And y'all know, I'm trying this for number one. Y'all know they said a new strain of COVID it has came out. So I definitely wanna, you know, try to protect myself and everything like that. So I wanna try this with you guys. I'm not gonna take the whole thing because I am not a G like that. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. But I do wanna take this with you guys. Um, and see how this is. I honestly, I've heard that the ginger shot, um, the ginger ones are not the best kind. I think from what I've seen, people kind of like the turmeric a little better, but yeah, you know, with ginger, it's already that tart taste. I'm not, I don't really like tart things, but um, I'm gonna take a shot. My daughter was supposed to take a shot with me, but child y'all this is so strong i could just smell it like it's just up in my nose like i could just feel it oh lord mercy y'all be with me please be with me pray for me y'all oh my god mm -mm -mm. okay y'all okay i'm gonna drink it oh oh my god oh i know i'm gonna need a lot of water Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Y'all, only thing I can say as far as, like, the ginger, it burns. Like, it burns, it burns, it burns. It is tart. I think I could probably deal with the tart part, but the burning part is what gets me. Wow. So I'm gonna take two more shots of this, you know, just to make sure that I get it in my system. Cause I haven't really took that much, you know, so far. Oh Lord. Okay, y'all. Mm. Ooh. Oh, it's the burning. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Y'all, to be honest, actually. Oh. Okay, so just getting over the burning. I've kind of killed this so far already. Look. It's literally down there, so I would probably need to take like one or two more shots. Um, yeah, let me try. Oh, God, Jesus. Yeah, I'm done. I killed the whole thing. Wow. Wow. Like I said, it's not that bad. <clears throat> this is really good for your immune system, good for circulation, things like that. So if you're having issues with, you know, circulation, your immune system, you know, keeping it strong, um, these shots are really good. They're real good. I'm not gonna lie and say that they're tasty because they're not. And again, this is my first time having it, but I've actually seen people take these. Um, but yeah, if you can get over like the burning part, I think you'll be okay. You'll be okay. Um, another thing that I'm interested in doing as well is doing a fruit cleanse. So I got me some fruit, y'all. I've been letting it sit out for a while. So it might be a little soggy, but <laughs> it's been in the refrigerator, so it's been really cold. Um, but I've been letting it sit out for quite some time. So, because I, I, me personally, I don't like real cold fruit. Can y'all see that? Let's see that on it. So, I don't like real cold fruit, but I do like it kind of like room temperature, I guess. Because I don't like anything bothering my teeth. So, yeah. So, yeah, y'all. So I'm going to 
get me a fork and we're going to try some of this um i want to what i'm trying to i guess do is kind of like intermittent fasting um but i want to do it with fruit and then in between i want to kind of like you know um eat nuts just to snack on or whatever you know of course have my liquids or whatever and i want to do this for about two weeks to see how this transforms my body um before i get back in the gym and start working out so yeah i'm just trying to take myself through a process of getting my body back together um for me i don't think my body is as bad as i've seen you know some people's body or let me not say that because that's wrong to say. I just don't think that I'm in a worse situation than, you know, what I've seen. Um, I just think for me, I need discipline. I need to eat right. Um, I need to cut out the sugars, like the desserts, y'all. I'm a dessert junkie. I love my pies and stuff like that. That's really my kryptonite. Um, if I can cut out that, then I'll be okay. Um, I did have a small cup of coffee today and honestly I'm just start back drinking coffee because I hadn't drunk coffee in probably like two months before the move so I'm just now incorporating it I don't plan to drink a lot of it because I know that um coffee can be fattening with all the added you know ad adjectives and stuff in there the uh, syrup and the caramel stuff like that just depending on how you make it unless you drink it straight black so I definitely want to cut those out and then another one of my issues is the energy drinks so I like the red the original red bull um if I can cut that out then you know for me that will cut down a lot of calories drink more water and stuff like that so we gonna see how this you know process works um i definitely want to start today with this um see how this process works and another thing um you know i'm trying to cut down because here uh when we move like there's a lot of restaurants there's it's just a lot it's a lot a lot of restaurants different type of food um not that many franchises it's more like I don't know, like specialty restaurants and stuff like that. So I would like to try and, you know, um, grocery shop and cook from home and stuff like that instead of spending my money and going out to eat and stuff like that. Because now that we're settled, I technically don't have to do that. It was just more so like, you know how when you're about to move and you don't want to like fill your cabinets up with, you know, a whole bunch of food, you want to kind of minimize what's in your cabinet and you want to try to um you know grocery shop less there's nothing sitting in there yeah, oh my god you just gotta shake it up bro it looks like little seeds at the bottom oh my god <laughs> tell them what it is um this is a super shot energy you can get it at your local Publix, or I don't know where else. Yeah, it was Publix. Or like Walmart, maybe? No. Oh, Publix. Publix. Uh, let me see. So, y'all, she's going to take, remember, I took, um, I took the, in the last clip, if y'all didn't skip over that, I took the ginger shot. I took the whole thing. She's not going to take the whole thing because, again, this is new to her. This is new to me, but I'm more susceptible of taking stuff like that because I go on and off on health binges and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, she's going to take a shot of the energy one. Maybe. She <laughs> is, y'all. She is. It got lemon. So, yeah, let me explain what it has in here. It's um, strawberry, lemon. It has 120 milligrams of caffeine. It has um, vitamin B12. It um, has 250 uh, milligrams of vitamin B12. So, yeah, y'all. Um, this is supposed to give y'all energy. Y'all, yeah. I don't know why I can't open this thing. Them, yeah, them things. Okay. Strong. Use my strong hand. Superman. All right. Let okay. Me, oh, get, get in the camera, ma'am. Let me smell it. <laughs> oh, it. What does it smell like? Let me smell it. It smells like dish detergent. 
don't smell that. I don't really smell nothing. I mean, it's what is this? Oh, that's apple. It smells like lemon, but it smells like detergent, like dish soap. Okay, yeah. here I gotta go right here. So, yeah, that's so show me where you gonna go. Show I might go, go right here. To... Nah, no. <laughs> but she's gonna try to, yeah, drink that far. Hold on. All right, y'all. <laughs> Okay, wait. Girl, you supposed to, uh, what they call that? Uh, okay. It's not that bad. Draw the boat or whatever the heck they call it. Okay. It's not that bad. Uh huh. Okay, girl. Show where you left out. So she yeah. drank a little more than what she told y'all. <laughs> right there. Yeah, this was where I posted. Yeah. yeah, see, that's kind of what happened with me. Like, remember, I was telling you that I had drunk the whole mm -hmm. thing, but that's because I guess when when I kept drinking, you know, it back, I was drinking more than what I needed to. So this one ain't that bad. Mm -mm. Yeah, it was just like it's just like lemon, but it's not like a real lemony taste. It's like a faint lemon. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could definitely do that. So I, I would probably, me personally, throw these back because um, the ginger is just not like that. Mm -hmm. But like I was just explaining to her, like, I think after three times of me taking the ginger, I would probably get used to it. I know what I'm taking. I'll just, you know, take it or whatever. If I could just get over that burn. So yeah, y'all. So make sure y'all taking y'all immunity boosts and all that, y'all energy uh, shots and everything like that. Keep up with, you know, y'all health, y'all circulation, minimize cold and flus and stuff like that. So this is just all precaution, you know, taking that stuff because it's real easy to get, you know, acceptable um, to colds and flus and stuff like that. And y'all know, plus the season's changing. So it's something you need to stay up on top. Okay, stay up on top top of yeah so yeah y'all i told y'all i was going to show y'all the backyard or whatever show y'all how pretty it looks back there so yeah let's let's get to it okay y'all so like i told y'all i wanted to show y'all the backyard so y'all can see what my view is so yeah y'all Good afternoon. 
or good evening it's much much later in the day so i've had a long day today um i went to best buy and got a few things i did tell y'all that i was going to get my camera today which i really thought i was but honestly all the stores are sold out of the camera that i need so basically I mean, I could have the camera shipped to the store, but why would why would I do that if I could just have it shipped to my house? So, um, it said that it should get here by Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. So, for sure, then, I'll have my camera. Um, and y'all, I know y'all seeing my natural hair. Yes, this is my natural hair. It is an afro. Um, I just not too long ago took those braids out. I'm supposed to get my hair braided again tomorrow, y'all. I'm not completely bald head. I do have hair and shrinkage is definitely real. So yeah, I haven't put heat on my hair in I wanna say what, three years? About three years. It's been about three years since I cut it. So I haven't put any heat on my hair since then. But y'all, I brought y'all on camera to show y'all that I got something exciting. I know I couldn't get the camera but I got something, the next best thing, y'all. I got my MacBook today. Let me show y'all. So yeah, I said um, I said I was gonna get it, so I got it. Uh -huh. So now I just got to open it up and uh, set everything up and connect everything to my iCloud onto the computer. So I do that. I am a little sleepy, y'all, because like I said, it's been a long day. Oh, and I just ate. We had some Freddy's for dinner, um, which is, I think, ain't it called Freddy's? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, we had some Freddy's for dinner. It's basically like steak and shake. Um, so, if you got that in your area, um, it was just something quick to eat. Um, but we, I got the chili cheese dog and my daughter, she got a hamburger or a kid's cheeseburger. Um, with fries, I just got the chili cheese dog and a sundae. It was really, really good. So, yeah. Honestly, I hadn't even ate really much today at all. Um, I did tell y'all I was going to do the fruit cleanse. So, that's what I really want to do. It's been a struggle. I'm going to be honest. It's been a real struggle. Because I'm not even used to doing this cleanse i feel like i'm doing the intermittent the intermittent fasting part um because i'm only eating like a certain time of the day but it's like just eating the fruit by itself it's just like really being a struggle but um you know i'm honest i can admit when um you know my diets i'm not able to fall all the way through with my my diet so i just start over and try again until it worked for me so uh yeah but yeah y'all i just wanted to check in with y'all and um you know say hey because i haven't vlogged at all today at all i haven't vlogged um so yeah i wanted to check in with y'all and say hey Y'all, this vlog probably be like literally one of the longest vlogs. I don't know how it's going to be when I edit it, but I guarantee I do have probably enough footage. Um, So, um, we'll see. We'll see. if it, I, I don't know if I'm going to end the vlog here, you know, tonight. Um, But if I do, you know, make sure that you guys like comment and subscribe and share the video share 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 um because i am trying to get my subscriber count up seriously um but i don't know if i'm gonna end it right here or if i'm gonna take y'all along with me tomorrow um i don't know but either way if i do end it right here tonight um i'll definitely you know start a new vlog tomorrow y'all like i said tomorrow i'm going to get my hair braided so I'm just really trying to wear like protective styles at this point. Um, usually I'm wearing, you know, my hair um, braided down or whatever. I'm wearing a wig, um, but 
since it's been so hot, honestly, I haven't been feeling like wearing nothing but braids. So that's what I've been wearing. So um, I'm gonna get my hair braided tomorrow. So I don't. I'll probably take y'all along with me. Like I said, whether it's in this vlog or in another vlog, a start of another vlog. But yeah, y'all make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, until the next time. See you later. Peace.